What's going on my friends? Cubs fan Han here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and we have got a huge update that just hit this game. I'm actually really excited about this update. I think it's a very, very, very positive thing for this game. We've got both the hyperdrive bundle, which I've, you know, that's probably what I'm not the most excited about, but the journey guide, which seems to be absolutely phenomenal. And we got some in inbox messages here from Capital Games. Check this out. So first of all, we got several messages here. Um, the upcoming Grand Arena Championship uh, will reward more championship tokens from the end of round rewards and the end of event rewards. Event of round or end of round re rewards will now reward 350 championship tokens, which is up from 150, so more than double. And losses rewards 125 championship tokens, which is up from 25. End of events now reward the following. Group 1, 1,400 up from 700, and then 1,000 up from 475 for group 2. And you can see the rest right there. So finally, this has been a big item of feedback we've been giving the devs for quite some time that the rewards need to be upped for Grand Arena Championships. I'm really, really happy to see that that, has, uh, that feedback has not fallen on deaf ears and it's it's been taken care of. So that's great. We also have the league restrictions have been removed from titles in the championship store. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've got double drops coming in. Mod battles and challenges are rewarding double drops on the 11th, 12th, and 13th of this month. That's starting tomorrow. Uh, that's also great. New fleet uh, pack ship. Uh, the Hyena Barmer is now available in fleet data cards, fleet packs, and shipments. Okay. That's nice. There's my guild reward and a thank you. With the launch of the Hyperdrive Bundle, we wanted to thank all of you who have embarked with us on this journey so far. Please accept this gift in honor of uh, your continued dedication. Good luck on the hollow tables. That is fantastic. And then we also have uh, this Hyperdrive Bundle here. Now, uh, this has been covered uh, quite a bit. It's basically what we saw already, uh, the details here. Um, my biggest thoughts on this, if, if I'm going to share my opinions, is I think this is a very good thing for new players who are ready to spend on this game. I don't think it's going to be something that they're disappointed about whatsoever. I think they're going to be quite happy about that. My concern is more for the players who start this game that aren't going to be spending. Now, they won't be affected in several areas of this game, but where they're really going to be affected is in the squad arena. And right now, I mean, if you're able to just jump straight up to level 85 um, and you're able to get all of these characters which are going to gift you several legendary events right away you're not going to have a chance in the arena unless you buy this thing and so that's going to really slow down your progress if you know if you were a very smart free-to-play player it's not going to take you too long to be able to get into the top areas of your arena shard and that's going to gift you those crystals that you need so that you can progress at the rate that you deserve to um, for the effort that you've put in now it's going to be just a pay to play only kind of kind of thing at the top and so that I'm not a big fan of for players like that that doesn't really affect me and then the gear rewards didn't seem to be quite as good um, as I thought they'd be for end game players so I think it's more of a beginning game kind of thing um, now the journey guide um, it's oh, she's going to make us play through this tutorial here let's let's just click through this all right all right all right all right that's nice that's nice okay okay go to the event Okay, so here's the best part about the journey guide, in my opinion. Now, number one, some of these characters are not available to replay. Uh, Malik's event is is the the highlight here. It's not available for replay. But all of these other events, um, and General Skywalker's, they can you can go in there and you can replay the events completely. Look at this. It looks like I, I got only two stars. It remembers that I got two stars on Ray's event right there. And you can infinitely replay these events for no rewards, but you can go in, you can go to the end of these legendary events, and you can play these great battles right at the end. Do you guys remember this one? <laughs> I really liked how up close and personal this was. You got uh, your, as, as everyone would say, your Mary Sue, as, as some people think. <laughs> this, is a, this is a version of Ray. That I wish we had in game. Look at what she's doing here. She's she's attacking different. She's doing like the jab instead. That's awesome. Look at that. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> there we go. Victory. That was easy. 
That was easy. So going through and reliving some of those moments, I think is great. Some of, and also some of the challenges like uh, C-3PO's event. I mean, this event was super challenging being able to just jump back in and, and redo that if you want to, or maybe you just want to see, all right, my Ewoks are more leveled up now. I wonder if that'd be easier. Um, that to me is something we've been asking for, for quite some time. And so I'm really glad to see that added to the game as well, because adding, um, you know, more content, more stuff that we can go enjoy for fun is great. It's not, I mean, it's not amazing content because we've already done it, but it's something, and it's something that's nostalgic for a lot of us. Like I went through on my stream and replayed Yoda's event. I totally forgot what that was even like. Um, that was pretty fun. Now, it is important to note that uh, stuff like, you know, General Skywalker and, and um, Malak are not there. But it will show you, you know, if you don't meet the requirements for these events. Like, I'm, I've been slacking on my Falcon, of course. And here's the, uh, the units that I'm slacking on for, <laughs> for this event. Got a ways to go there. Oh, gosh. Got a ways to go. I'm going to work on that. Um, also, you can't go in and just play the Imperial Probe Droid mission for example, that's still going to be a special mission for your guild to go in and play. Um, same thing for the Wat Tambor mission. You're going to have to go in and um, meet the, it, but it'll show you what requirements you can hit there. I would like it at some point in the spirit of replaying events for no rewards. I think these missions in particular would be really nice to allow for no rewards because it's something that would be helpful to practice. These missions are challenging even when you meet the requirements. And so being able to practice it so that when you do go in for your guild, you don't let your guild down and you're a little bit more prepared for what the attack strategy is like, I think would be nice. So I, I'd kind of like them to add that just for a practice standpoint because they're challenging, but uh, for now it doesn't look like they're doing that. Um, so anyway, the journey guide is great. It's very important to note that Ray and Kylo are going to require 15 characters, it looks like. Look at this. We also know that they're going to require the new version of uh, the latest version of that character. So we're going to need Kylo Ren Unmasked for, for the new Kylo Ren, the Galactic Legend. And then it has 14 other characters here that are in question marks. That looks deliberately 14 to me. It doesn't look like just random. You know, I, that to me basically confirms that we're going to need 15 characters for that. And then Ray's is the same way. And so 30 characters, you're going to need 30 characters to have both Ray and Kylo is what that looks like to me. That's pretty freaking bananas. That is absolutely crazy to me. So anyway, that's that's important to note, and we'll, we'll wait for more information on that. Now, we do have uh, Hux and Snoke in the game uh, right now. They are not... Or Hux and Snoke. <laughs> I just gave everyone a heart attack. Hux and Sith Trooper. Snoke, hopefully, one day. Um, Hux's event is starting tomorrow, and then a couple days later, we'll have Sith Trooper's event. Um, I really wish they were coming right now. Um, you can see their kits right now in the game. Um, sitting right next to some others that I can't unlock. I think this little animation here is pretty cool. Standing up. Attention. Turn up. Um, so, looking forward to having them on the hollow tables as well. So by and large, this update to me is one of the most player friendly updates I've seen in a long time. I think this journey guide is a fantastic thing, especially for new players out there, being able to look in here and, and read a little bit about Thrawn, um, read a little bit about his, you know, you've got his abilities right here in the game. You've got some, some potential synergies. So you can know what characters you want to farm with that, um, and then you can just go to the event as soon as you're ready and play it again. I think this is there's nothing bad about this to me. I think it's very, very solid, um, very easy to understand. Uh, the only thing I think I wish is maybe if they would organize it based on, you know, here's your epic confrontations, here's your uh, legendaries, here's your journeys, something like that uh, might be helpful, maybe. But I also think that the way they've got it organized looks pretty cool. So I'm pretty much okay with that. So... By and large, great update. What do you guys think about this update? Let me know down in the comments below. I would very much appreciate it if you guys would also leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. So thanks again for joining me for the video and please join me tomorrow as soon as, let's see here, let me go back. Um, as soon as Hux's event goes live, which is in a 17 hours, I will be streaming and we will be testing him out 
right away to see how he fits. And we'll do that on the test count so I can max him out. All right, everyone. Thanks again for joining me for the video. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. <laughs>